Hey guys, Gary Ablett here. I'm gonna take you through some goal kicking today. I'm gonna to take you through some different kicks from uh, the drop punt uh, in a set shot to some snaps to some uh, bananas and a few other kicks as well. Uh, the first kick that we're gonna start off with is the set shot and it's a drop punt. So I'm gonna run you through what my routine is, the things that I'm thinking about um, and uh, hopefully can help you to become a better kick. So here goes. All right, so the first thing you wanna think about and uh, one of the things that I think is the most important is, is actually taking your pressure off, off yourself. One of the first things that I say to myself when I'm heading back for a set shot is uh, it's important, first of all, to go through your routine, um, but also just tell myself, you know, if I am to miss the goal, um, you know, uh, it really doesn't matter. Obviously, I'm not missing the goal deliberately. If I go back and I go through my routine, um, I know that um, generally I'm gonna kick it more than I miss it. So. Um, that's a bit of the mental side for you. Uh, the other part of it is, uh, is the routine, which I touched on, um, and just making sure that uh, I'm going through everything that I would do at training. Uh, the first thing is I, I like to step my kick out, so I'll step back a certain amount of steps um, to where I feel comfortable, making sure that I'm giving myself enough space between me and the man on the mark. One other important uh, part of uh, a set shot is making sure that you're getting the ball to spin properly. So you actually want to see the ball spin backwards like that. Uh, to do that, you actually need to kick it on the bottom of the ball. If you kick it too much in the middle of the ball, it'll actually float. And then the two really important things from there is, is uh, first of all, making sure that you actually guide the ball down well. Uh, so you want to you make sure you guide it onto your, your boot. Um, and I think the second thing is just making sure you follow through and, and you're pointing your foot. So I'll show you what that looks like. So it's coming through, I like to know exactly where I want to kick from, how far that is from the man on the mark. And then I want to make sure that I guide the, the ball down onto my foot, and then to make sure that I follow through and point the foot. went through, generally you'll hear the crowd cheering. There's none here today, but uh, Mitch was cheering me on. <laughs> well, standards, especially back here at his home. Take a little lead up, wasn't it? Rome, these grounds, the kid, four-year-old, five-year-old, and he owns it again. All right, the second kick that I'm going to take you through today is the, is the snap kick. This has become a lot more popular over the, the last four or five years and is probably one of my favourite kicks. Um, the reason I like to use this kick a bit is because you can actually get the ball to swing around, um, which kind of helps you open up the angle, I guess, if you're, if you're stuck on the boundary or, um, you know, it, uh, it's a difficult kick. Um, the other part about it as well, generally when guys kick a snap kick, um, they'll, they'll run out and give themselves a metre or two. Um, because with the way the rules are these days, the man on the marks and not allowed to actually, actually come out. So um, I think that's part of the reason why the kick gets used uh, a lot more today than it did probably 10, 15 years ago. So the way we're going to start today is there's, uh, there's two different ways to do this. Some players like to actually stand like they're going to kick a drop punt and last minute they'll actually turn their body and run around. Uh, and then you've got the other guys that'll actually start in a position like this. Um, and, and they actually give away that they're going to go the snap. But as I said before, uh, the man on the mark is generally about five to 10 metres away from them. So it gives them the time to be able to do that. Things you want to think about when you're kicking a snap kick is you're going to, you're going to turn and hold the ball like this. So that part of the ball is actually going to face the goals. And again, you're wanting to kick it on the bottom of the ball. You don't want to kick it in the middle of the ball. If you kick it in the middle of the ball, uh, it's probably going to end up floating, which is, uh, which is going to make it a lot harder to go through the goal. So I'll, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Come on, the cats. Comes straight off the back of skill errors. Opens up the angle. Three in a row, the Cats. And he is the best of the best. All right, the third kick that I'm going to show you today is the dribble kick. Uh, and like the snap, um, I actually like to use this. I think there's a few different scenarios that you can use it in. Um, the first one is a player running towards the boundary line. So um, you'll see a lot of the time if, if a player is, a, a, say, a right, a right footer, um, doesn't feel so comfortable on their left foot, 
and they're running to, towards a boundary under under pressure, they'll uh, they'll use that dribble kick. And the reason being is it actually allows you to open up that angle. Like the snap, the dribble kick uh, takes takes a fair bit of practice, but um, once uh, once you know the technique and how to hold the ball um, and, and and you practice, um, it's not actually that difficult of a kick. So. If I, was, uh, if I was running towards the boundary and I was going to use it, I'd be holding the ball like this. And again, what I want to do is I want to kick it on the bottom of the ball. Again, you don't want to kick it in the middle of the ball because the ball's going to float. So as I'm running towards the boundary, I'm holding it like this. And then I'll just kick it on the bottom again. So as you can see with the dribble kick, you can actually allow it to come around and bend back, which, which is the reason why uh, it allows you to open up the angle. Not too close to the boundary line, as far away from the North Melbourne goals as you can get. Ablett for the miracle goal! <laughs> Ablett for the miracle goal! All right, the fourth kick that I'm going to show you today is the banana kick. Um, again, this kick will be used um, generally when you're um, kicking from the boundary line. Um, you do see some guys that will, uh, will kick a drop punt um, from this part of the ground, but I prefer to actually do the banana kick. I think, um, yeah, I think for me, I'm a bigger chance of kicking the, the banana kick over the drop punt from this type of angle. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the, uh, the technique to kicking the banana kick. Um, players, I know there's, uh, there's certain players that like to hold the ball differently, um, but I'm going to take you through my technique and why I hold it the way that I do. So as I'm coming in, I like to hold the ball on this angle. Again, what I was saying about players holding it, uh, holding it different ways, some, some players like to hold it uh, down a little bit more. I actually like to hold it up. I've just found that technique and, and practicing that over the years, I've felt a lot more comfortable with it. And then what you're gonna do again, like every other kick that I've showed you, is you wanna kick it on the bottom of the ball, not in the belly of the ball. If you kick it in the middle, again, the ball's probably gonna float. So you're gonna wanna practice hitting it there. And then what I'm thinking about is I'm actually thinking about putting it up in front of the goals because a banana kick is generally going to bend. Um, so that way I feel if I can put it up, um, usually what I look at is the middle of the goal square and I want to put it up in front of that and allow it to swim back through. So I'll show you what that, that looks like. That is the banana kick. Cock it two now. Ablett wants it. He's got it. Can he resurrect here? Went the banana. He's got the goal. And he kicked the banana. -na -na. Guys, I hope some of those uh, tips were helpful today. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, most important thing is to remember, get out, practice, practice, practice. And uh, yeah, if your dream is to, to play at the top level one day, I uh, just want to wish you good luck and uh, enjoy.